Tyler Dear Ones at Dallas. I am of the stars. And I was just um, going over in my mind an emergency exit routine. Uh, when people uh, had the subconscious desire to stop your heart and give you a heart attack and uh, actually lay you low, as they say. And uh, this comes up more frequently than you would think, that people have these, these cursing wishes uh, without knowing that they're doing it at all, especially when they're angry. It happens amongst family, and it happens amongst friends and, and acquaintances in the workplace, and not just uh, with total strangers at the supermarket. In fact, it's more likely to happen with people that we know. And so there, there's a couple of kinds of curses. One is, may you get cancer, and, and they may get specific about the type of cancer. And the other one is, I will give you a heart attack, or may you have a heart attack. So those are two curses regarding physical function. And so for the first one, I was mentioning about, about heart attack. I will tell you what I've been doing lately. I've had a number of successful techniques. And this one that I've been doing lately is very easy. You just sit down in meditative pose and you concentrate on the muscles in the center of your chest on relaxing them. And then for the problem of cancer curses, you can use this activation of light. Spirit to team, optimize physical health. Heal body cells and DNA. Purify my subtle bodies. Cleanse my soul of all past injury. For the all, through free will. I, I think it's a good idea for everyone to try that out um, because regardless of whether we are concerned with curses or not, there is still bound to be some disordered cells in the body because the ascension process is, is like upsetting our cells a little bit. All right, go with God. Be at peace. Talk to you another time.